Good morning, everyone. My name is Nathaniel Byers, and I am the worship leader here at Faith United Methodist Church. Before we get started with our set list of worship, I would like for us to turn our Bibles to the 121st Psalm. So you can follow along if you like, or if you just prefer to listen, that's okay too. So this is Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not um, slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your night at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going, both now and forevermore. So, during this time, you know, we feel a great deal of fear, and we feel a great deal of uncertainty. You know, we wonder, you know, maybe we're not afraid, but we're definitely in a place where we're wondering, what's, what's going to happen next? What's going on, and what do we do about it? Um, this psalm really spe um, uh, speaks to how much um, God is with us, and how he is our provision in our times of doubt and in our times of fear. So the very first song that we're going to sing is actually called I Lift My Eyes Up, and it is based off of this 121st Psalm. So this is a little bit of an older song, so if you don't know it, feel free to listen to it or interact with it, you know, by following along in your Bibles. So this is I Lift My Eyes Up. This next song is called Holy and Anointed One, 
and this one is likewise to the first song very simple um, melodically speaking and it's very simple in terms of the text as well but this this song speaks to just the the beauty of who um, Jesus is holy and anointed risen and exalted um, it says in the chorus, your name is like honey on my lips, your spirit like water to my soul, your word is a lamp unto my feet. Jesus encapsulates so many descriptors and so many um, qualities and facets to who he is, both as um, a beautiful deity, a light to um, our journey, our path, our destinations in life, and um, ultimately risen and triumphant over death. So this song kind of just encapsulates all of those things. So this is Holy and Anointed One. And if you don't know it, um, just follow along and really think about the words. Um, but the melody is very simple, and I would encourage you guys to give it a try from home. So... Isn't it? 
This next song is a little bit more celebratory. It's a little bit um, faster, and um, it kind of has us, you know, really interacting in a very, um, I guess, um, you know, there's a lot of movement to this song. So this song is um, called um, The Power of Your Love. And this is one that I really, really love. This is a song that kind of speaks to um, us coming forward and asking God to really work in us, um, to give us um, His love and to um, really, I guess, um, live that out in our lives. So this is a song that kind of speaks to um, not only really repentance, you know, for the things that we've done and asking for new hearts, but it's also about a continued act of sanctification, you know, just day by day asking um, of God for us to be better and for him to work in us as he always does. So this song is just a posture of, you know, Lord, I want to be changed um, by your love. I want to be transformed in that way. And, um, just speaks to um, the thankfulness that we should have in response to what Christ gives um, in all facets. So this is on the power of your love.
This next song is called Before the Throne of God Above. And this one operates on a very hymn-like stru uh, structure, um, very strophic, verse, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, kind of in a very, you know, dum 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 dum, you know, kind of um, not really a bridge or anything like that. This is a very, you know, traditional hymn-like structured song. Um, but the lyrics are very, very, um, very deep, very, um, very meaningful as it pertains to um, the grace of God and, you know, his, his death, um, his life on earth, and everything of that sort, and us just looking forward to um, ultimately seeing him face to face. Um, so this text was actually written back in the 1840s, um, something like that. It was, it was written a long time ago, um, but um, so that accounts for some of the really rich language involved. Um, my name is graven on his hands. Um, no tongue can bid me thence depart. So um, really kind of old school vernacular in some ways. Um, but this song just speaks to what Christ has done for us and um, how nothing in this world can separate us from the grace of God. So um, this is Behold um, Before the Throne of God Above. Thank you. 
This last song is called Breathe, and this is another really simple um, song, both in terms of the melody and also in terms of really, I guess, the, the very straightforward nature of the lyrics. Um, something as simple as a breath, something, you know, that's kind of unconscious. It's just something that we do, but this song um, talks about how, you know, God, you know, is everything we need, the air we breathe. Um, the world around us, you know, just everything. Um, there's a certain sense that, you know, we, we, we take for granted the breath that we have. We take for granted the, the world that we live in and the, the life and the opportunity that we're given in this world. Um, but this song is kind of an observance of, you know, um, just how deeply entrenched in our lives that God is, in everything that we do, and in everything that we are. Um, so this song is called Breathe.
the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence, living in me. Heavenly Father, thank you so so much for this day. Um. Thank you for this time that we're able to, you know, have together. Um, the power of technology sees us, you know, far apart, but still um, able to really reap the benefits and the joys of being in Christian community with one another. So, Lord, we're thankful for that, and we're thankful for um, those gifts that you give in that way. Um, Lord, I pray for anyone who is um, currently sick, um, anyone who is currently hurting. Um, we are all affected by this um, by this time and by this pandemic in one way or another, whether it be our jobs, whether it be our health, or whether it be um, the, um, the health and livelihood of um, loved ones around us. So Lord, um, we, um, we acknowledge um, your provision and your grace in the midst of these times. So Lord, I pray that you give us that peace and you give us that hope and you give us that understanding that um, you have a plan and that you um, ultimately hold everything um, in control. So Lord, we're thankful for that understanding. Um, I pray that all of us continue to have good weeks, um, to be intentional with those around us, whether it's by um, texting, calling, or doing anything else that you know would brighten someone else's day. We can always do that in some way. Um, no matter where we are, um, we always have tools at our disposal to be a blessing to those around us. So, Lord, I pray that you um, work in us to do that um, to the various people in our lives. Um, I pray that you bless us and that we, um, yeah, we continue to be safe and healthy moving forward. And I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys so, so much for being a part of today's um, worship experience. And I'll see you guys next week.